We often associate dementia with the elderly, but this next story is going to turn that thought on its head. A little-known childhood form of the disease is leaving families with a heartbreaking lack of options. Batten disease is a death sentence, robbing children of motor and communication skills. But a new study could deliver a glimmer of hope. Emily Lyons is a cheeky, happy eight-year-old. My <laughs> you know that one. <laughs> Diagnosed with Batten disease, specifically the CLN6 variant, M is quite literally one of a kind. The only known case in Australia. You start off as a normal child and then Mama. regress to, you know, Mama. someone you don't even really recognise. <laughs> Barely given time to create memories, Emily is being robbed of them. She will lose the ability to walk and talk. This gorgeous little girl won't live to adulthood. You can't do anything and nobody in the world can do anything. You know, that's, that's really tough. Relentless process in terms of the outcome of the disease and at the moment there aren't really any treatments. The new study aims at the least to improve treatment options with hopes of slowing or halting the disease. Members of the team have made some ground with Alzheimer's and will be looking for common proteins across a number of conditions. Crossover points that we can identify drugs that we can target multiple um, different um, forms of dementia in, in children. While Emily's condition is rare, every three days a child is born with a form of the disease and this study will target all of them. Not only slow uh, one form of disease but a whole range of them. So the children, just like Em, can look forward to longer, healthier lives. She could run and she could, you know, sing a song to me. You, you know, it's looking back at that sort of stuff and, yeah, to think it's only going to get worse from now on just really not fair. Chris Campy for 10 News First.